Play action. Stroud now. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in his own blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. He'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Dumps it off to Mixer. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a throw downfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. And I like where this offense is going. I like what they're thinking because they want to spread the wealth and move the ball around. And they decide to get the fullback involved in these pass patterns as well. Normally, two-yard hitch or a little flare out of the backfield. But this time, they set him downfield. He's able to make a big play. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Throwing again is Stroud. To mix it on the check down. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. C.J. Stroud scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Texans will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And this is something right out of the Philadelphia playbook. They were successful running this with Jalen Hurts. But this is a copycat league, so if it works for them, everyone thinks it'll probably work for us. And here, it does. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 27. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Good push up front and then a run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And again, it's Chubb. To the 43, second down. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. 
They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you just throw in the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Second down, here's Chubb again. Fights him off. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. gun Watson he's got Najoku over the middle and he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five a good pick up there 22 it's all pretty simple sometimes isn't it go where the defenders are not and he does exactly that makes a nice catch to move the chains defense got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them They'll run with Chubb. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three. All of a sudden, those lanes over there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Touchdown, Browns! Jerome Ford from three yards out. And the Browns are an extra point away from drawing level. Hopkins with the extra point. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Stroud looking to throw. Oh, he has. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. Fourth down, Stroud going to try to throw for him. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. Watson now to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Up the middle, it's Chubb. Call it a three-yard game, but they'll be forced into a third and 15 coming up. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A tough spot here, third and 15.
A shotgun snap for Watson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They certainly had a good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. He'll buy some time right. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big game, and they'll come right back with another first and ten. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second down and three. Here's Stroud. Pass thrown right back to Joe Mixon. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of the best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First run of the game here for Damian Pierce. And he's got this one down to the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. It's the game of seven. Brings up second and three. Another carry for Pierce. And he'll get this down inside the five and four before he's out of bounds. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins taking it in from four yards out. And the Texans will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. Watson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. 
Now it's Watson. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? And incomplete on the deep ball. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. On the return, it's King. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7 our scores. As we get back at it on EA Sports. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. The drive starting play, a good one. Give them 19. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. To throw is Watson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game, or make people miss downfield. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. Tough one there, a first drive in the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 18 yards that time to push him up first to go. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And Stroud now to throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Stroud to throw it. Being chased out left. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. And the defense rises to the challenge. They get him down for a loss of two, and it brings up fourth and goal. Fairbairn able to put this one through. Well, I don't 
know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Oh, some strong running. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Here's Watson. Right back to Njoku. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back to throw, Watson. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Caught that one from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. That's complete to the tight end, Aikens. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 17-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Watson looks to throw again. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Here's Watson. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And the Browns are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Oh, nice job there putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now Watson going to sneak it. And he is not going to get in as the big body stop him at the one. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. Almost want to go Shakespeare here. My kingdom for a yard. Quarterback sneak, nothing doing. Better be careful. Shakespeare might sue you. Yeah, he might come get me, right? Good luck with that, Bard. In motion left is a running back. Chubb is in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Extra point good by Hopkins, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now here on EA Sports. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. Because to me, he's got to take over right now by Ward pumping his team up, and then, of course, by Deed with his play. Bicycle coaches used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by Word and Deed. And Deed means action. Exactly. Stroud. Got his man, Dell. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Mixon with a first down carry. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll stay on the ground, mixing again. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 of the red zone. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On the jet sweep, this is Dell. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Take Dell, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, They'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. This is first and ten. Now Watson. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked by Jeff Okuda. Down the sideline he goes. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive...